Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy for Some of God in Burlington, Kansas, and it is uh, May the 14th. I hope you're having a great day. We are continuing on the power of mom. Well, let me just open it. This was anonymous son wrote the following observations about his mom. He said, His mom, mother taught him logic. Since once asked if anyone else jumped off the cliff, would you do it too? Her mother his mother taught him medicine. If you don't stop crossing your eyes, they will they're going to freeze that way. His mother taught him how to become an adult. If you don't eat your vegetables, you'll never grow up. His mother taught him about genetics. You're just like your father. His mother taught him about my roots. Do you think you were born in a barn? His mother taught him about wisdom of age. When you get to be my age, you'll understand. And I'll explain it all when you get older. His mother taught him about anticipation. Just wait until your father gets home. And the all-time favorite of his mother's taught him justice. One day you'll have kids, and I hope they turn out just like you. Then you'll see what it's like. As we look at this passage uh, in Psalms, I want to impress upon you uh, the connection between a mother's taught and what we believe now believe about God. Look at the verses 9 through 10. Talking about God, the psalmist says, Yet you brought me out of my out of the womb. You made me trust in even at my mother's breast. For birth I was cast upon you. From my mother's womb you have been my God. Notice this. The psalmist doesn't talk about the faith he gains at his father's knee. No, he tells us about the depth of his faith that he found when he was with his mother. Let me illustrate this a little bit more for you this morning. There was a recent study report in October 2004 issue of Psychological Science that showed that children who have a good fortune to interact with their mo mothers a lot develop healthier consciences. In that article they said that the toddlers were encouraged to imitate their mothers in such a simple action as playing tea party, tending to a stuffed animal. In that part of the experiment, the researchers graded the children based on their readiness to imitate what they observed. And then in subsequent subsequent sessions, they evaluate this, these same children as they were enticed with prizes for games they could win by only by cheating or breaking an object that had some value to them. What researchers found out was that toddlers were eager to imitate their mothers, were more likely to follow the rules, and were more likely to exhibit a sense of guilt when they broke something. One person commented on that research said, stated that God has placed our conscience within us to monitor our behavior. The conscience like a thermostat, but mothers apparently help us define those settings. See, when you really begin to understand this, that there are things that children learn from their mothers that they can't learn anywhere else. Listen, in, here in Psalms 22, the psalmist tells us how critical his mother's influence was on him. He tells us that had become uh, unbearable for him. He's been rejected and people have mocked him and he has seen and experienced how unfair life can be. And ultimately, he came... He's come to believe that God wasn't near him anymore. That may be God had even left him. He's filled with despair and hopelessness, and his world is falling to pieces around him. In the midst of the misery, he remembers the lesson he learned from his mother. And what might he have learned from his mama? Well, Psalms 22 says, from his birth, he he was cast upon God. In other words, his mother raised him to look to God. She raised him to lean on God's strength and hope. Well, I hope that your mother has done that for you. Leads you to the direction of the cross. And I know my mom has. I mean, we, uh, I didn't always live a good life. At least my parents didn't know until later in life that I didn't live the the perfect life and, and uh, but my mom always you know got us to church and got us in church and hopefully we you know we stayed there she did her best we turned out okay you know we're not murderers or 
rapist or anything like that. You know, uh, we're I'm serving. You know, God's still for the forefront of my mind. So here's the deal. Thank your mom today. Thank your mom today. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I pray that you bless every single person. I pray that you encourage them and bless them. I pray and give them an opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today in your name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.